I'm in Playa del Carmen, a very touristy destination in all over Mexico, where national and international tourists come to this area. And because of that reason, the prices have skyrocketed. There are restaurants, bars, shops, but the prices are very, very expensive. So I came here and I realized that I couldn't buy whatever I wanted. So I needed to find ways to do Playa del Carmen on a budget. And I'm going to show you in this video very useful tips for you to enjoy Playa del Carmen and not only Playa del Carmen but very touristy destinations in Mexico. Playa del Carmen is very well recognized because of its Quinta Avenida or Fifth Avenue. It's an avenue where there's a lot of restaurants, shops, bars, places to dance. I've been there and it's interesting, I like it. Uh, but I have to say, the prices are super, super expensive. Beers are around 100 pesos or $5 when you can buy them in all other parts of Mexico at 30 pesos, maximum 40 pesos. So Dave and I have been trying to find ways to enjoy Playa del Carmen and we found ways and I'm going to show you in this video. I recommend trying a few restaurants that are a few blocks inland. You're going to find a few jewels. This is another tip a great friend of mine gave it to me and I actually really liked it. She said, if you want to eat like a local, ask a local where they would take to their mother, to their sister. And it works. I actually asked a lady the other day when I was doing my braids and she said, The tacos look good. How are the tacos, Dave? Mm -hmm. I approve it, I approve it. Around Playa del Carmen there are incredible, beautiful, amazing places that you have to visit if you are around these areas. There are a lot of tours that you can take of course, but if you want to visit different places and uh, maybe you're traveling in a budget, there's another way that you can do this. We took the van, the colectivo that, that lives from Playa del Carmen in Chedraui. Next to Chedraui, you can take the colectivo, and the colectivo is going to take you to Acumal, Tulum, or even to this cenote. Cenote Azul is called. Let me show you. It looks so beautiful. Okay, if you come to this cenote, you are going to find the small fish and they are going to eat your dead skin. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? That's why ah, that's why people pay for this. There must be something good. <laughs> <laughs> Before continue watching this video, subscribe to my channel, make sure to give it a like and leave a comment. And thank you very much to all my patrons for supporting this channel. I appreciate it very much guys. Thank you. Wow, we are finally here in Akuman and it's a very small town where it has only one beach and we needed to pay 120 pesos and we needed to pass through kind of a hotel to be able to be at the beach. This beach is recognized because you can swim with turtles. If you like the idea, you can do it here. And what I like about, it, about this beach is that you can go as far as you want and it's not going to be deep. The water is so blue and I'm so happy that we didn't find sargasso. What's the word for, in English for sargasso? Sargasso? Sargasso. I think we were very lucky. Five hours later. We want to walk a little bit further away and we found sargasso. sargasso. So I wonder, is it something that every day in the morning people do, ju just gather the sargasso uh, so we, people can enjoy the beach later like us? Or it's been there for a long time? I don't feel uncomfortable with the beaches finding sargasso. I can see a little bit, but it's not 
But this bar behind me looks so beautiful that one cocktail costs at least $15. I like drinking, so I won't do that. I'm in front of the 7-Eleven that is just two blocks away from the beach and you can buy the drinks that you have that you want here it's going to be probably beers but you can also bring your wine to the beach so we're gonna buy some beers and take them to the beach and once you're here you can just bring your cool box and have your drinks Ah, my hair is not allowing me. Don't trust the prices that are on the menu online because I don't know why, but I've been doing that and I've been doing it wrong. The prices are more expensive from what they look on in the menu online. If you just like a place, go to that place. Everything is very close here in Playa del Carmen, so it's easy. Some very good friends, the friends who actually offered us their apartment to visit Playa del Carmen, told us to come to La Cueva del Chango. They enjoy this place, place very much, so we decided to come. And we are in Calle 38 Norte or 38 North Street. I would recommend you guys to come to this street. It has a lot of restaurants, beautiful restaurants with a lot of green areas. It's very different compared to Quinta Avenida. It looks more um, hipster. So we're here at La Cueva del Chango waiting to be seated. It seems that we can see or people can see monkeys here. Thank you very much guys for recommending this place. They serve big portions, so that's something that we like. And the salsas are very, very tasty too. Not only in this restaurant, but we've seen that around this area in Playa del Carmen, we've been to other places around here. I don't know why, but they prepare good salsas. Look guys, this is our table and there's a big iguana over there. <laughs> Now I'm heading to the beach and I put my makeup because I'm going to do the thumbnail for probably this video or the video that I made la, uh, about Playa del Carmen, the first video. Let's see, but it's going to be a thumbnail about Playa del Carmen. I have the hair like that because I made my braids the day before yesterday and I thought it looked cool for a photo. We are on our way to go to the colectivo stop, the, the bus stop, and they decided to wear a, a Colombian t-shirt, a Colombian jersey today. He said, I'm wearing this jersey because people are going to think that I'm Colombian and that I'm not from, I'm not a person who, uh, uh, who speaks English, so people won't hassled me and I said ah oh, that's a good idea well the opposite ended up happening <laughs> he is getting a lot of attention from all the people of the all the sellers because they think he is Colombian <laughs> the people are are shouting hey Colombia hey Colombia come here and they are saying hágale and they're speaking in, in Colombian so he's getting a lot of attention and that's funny because he doesn't like that. <laughs> My advice for you is not to wear a Colombian jersey. You're going to get a lot of attention. At least you like you like the attention. 